Hi students, I wanted to show you how we can make larger decoders from smaller decoders. So I call these compound decoders. Um, we're going to use this new idea um, called an enable line. So the way the enable works is it's basically like um, an on and off switch. So if enable is equal to zero, we want our circuit to be off. And if enable is equal to one, then we want our circuit to be on. So it kind of functions similar to a multiplexer where um, depending on what enable is, it's going to basically switch a decoder on or off. And we can use this with um, other circuits actually. Um, going forward, we're gonna sometimes be using an enable line like this. So let me show you um, kind of a simple example of how we would use an enabler to um, basically switch between two different decoders. So here's the example. I wanted to show you how to create a four to 16 bit decoder using only three to eight bit decoders. All right, so um, if we think about this functionality here, what we wanna do is we want to have a circuit that takes in four inputs. And this is gonna be our binary input, and we wanna output the decimal equivalent of this, so it's gonna be doing a binary to decimal conversion for us. So since we have four bits, if you look at what this truth table would look like, um, and I can construct this just by counting in binary, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, um, here we have that these bits B, C, D, if I kind of ignored this A bit for a minute, um, this is just counting in binary with three bits because we're not doing anything with this A bit. It just has zero in it. And then once we get to decimal seven, right, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now um, the next bit is eight. This is when we actually flip this A bit and then the BCD goes down back to zero. So um, this actually goes back to um, our original state here, and um, all of the, the BCD inputs are gonna be identical between here and here. The only difference is that the A line is gonna be on. So um, this is gonna be kind of a hint for us that maybe we can use this A to switch between encoders or decoders, let's see if I can talk and write at the same time. So 1101, 1110, and 1111. Okay, so this is gonna correspond to the output, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if this is the decimal output that we wanna produce. These are our binary inputs. If I kinda draw a line right here, you'll see that this block here and this block here are identical. So we can implement um, this basically with a three to eight bit decoder. So if we had a decoder that took in um, inputs B, C, D and um, outputted the decimal output zero through seven, and then we had a second decoder that took in, again, inputs B, C, D, but then outputted eight through 15, then we can use our A line to basically switch between the two. So um, it ends up looking like this. If I had, um, if I wrote my lines here in this vertical orientation, I have A, B, C, D coming in here as inputs. So I want to take B, C, and D and I wanna pipe those as inputs to a three to eight bit decoder. And then the output is going to be some decimal digits between zero and seven. So I'll just kind of make a shorthand D zero to D seven rather than write all eight output bits here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have a second decoder and this is also gonna take in the same inputs, B, C, D, this is a three to eight bit decoder, but I want this one to output 
my decimal digits 8 to decimal 15. Okay, so as you can see here, we have four inputs, and then outside of our circuit, we should have 16 outputs. But the question is, um, how do we actually switch between the two? Well, this is where the A line comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, um, it's almost like a select line, but it's called enable in this case. I'm going to add an enable line down here at the bottom. So this is going to be another input. And what I want to pipe to enable is um, I want A to come into this enable line for both of these decoders. So in order for this decoder to be on, I want A to be zero, right? So if A is zero, it'll make my first decoder on, it'll output zero to seven decimal digits on my output. So in order for this to have a one when A is equal to zero, I can grab an A, I can invert it, and then I can route it to my enable line. Now for this decoder, I want this de decoder to be the one that's selected, and that's when A is equal to one. So this is gonna be just a direct connection with A. So um, here I have enable, enable is going to be, let's see, I'll write it like this. We'll say this is on if A is equal to zero, right? So zero comes in here, gets inverted to a one, so we have a one piped into our enable, which is gonna turn on this decoder. If A is equal to zero over here, this is going to be off if A is equal to zero. Okay, so we're selecting this decoder and not this one if A is equal to zero, which is what we want based on our truth table. And then conversely, this is going to be off if A is equal to one. So if we have one come in here, we invert it to zero. Now we have a zero coming in on the enable, so that's basically disabling this first decoder. But this is gonna be on if A is equal to one, because then we have a one directly coming into the enable, it's gonna select this, which is the one coming in over here to distinguish between zero through seven and eight through 15. So um, the concept is kind of similar to a multiplexer in, in that we're using um, A as kind of a select line that's gonna select between this decoder or that decoder. But the way we um, route it is we have this enable line that's, um, this is basically like enabled, like an opposite enable, and this is um, a positive enable. So um, let me know if you have questions about how to use decoders to make larger decoders from smaller ones. Um, in the next example, I'm gonna have you try this, but with, instead of a four to 16, um, we'll have you try a three to eight, so it'll be um, a similar process, but instead of um, four input bits, you'll just have three, and then you try it for kind of um, an easier case, but basically the same process. So let me know if you have questions about that.